Hey friends, welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for you all today, which is not very abnormal. I do a lot of unboxing videos uh, on this channel if, if you are new here. Please excuse my appearance. It is incredibly hot and humid uh, <laughs> right now and I'm trying to save a little bit of money by not using our AC. It's cool enough and breezy enough that I have the windows open but I'm still super sweaty so sorry but the unboxing that I'm gonna do for you guys today is another Sabbath box I just I also want to just kind of put it out here because I tweeted about it when it was happening and like a, a couple weeks after it happened when I just gave up yeah so I just I want to apologize on video because not everyone follows me on the other platforms uh, there are some people who follow me on this channel who come here specifically for the Sapa Box video, so I do just want to apologize. Lamas for 2018 is missing. I don't know what happened. I continuously tried to upload the upload the compute completed video, and it just would freeze on me. So I think there's something wrong with some of the video footage. Um, so it just it wasn't working. I just gave up at, at some point but we now have oh I didn't fully cut these no I don't have the knife so this box is for Maybon 2018 and I want to be careful not to cut anything inside of it so seven box of course um, you guys kind of know the drill by now it does send these boxes to over to me for review on this channel I'm able to still be sincere in my review and my opinion and uh, my reactions i guess on this channel so open it up i i will let you guys know right now i'm very excited for this box because i mentioned it in a previous video i've started to really incorporate the moon cycle into my practice or like my kind of everyday life and this box is all <laughs> about the moon I'm definitely saving the sticker. Something I do is I save these stickers. I uh, haven't been super up, up to date with my using my planner, but I like to put the stickers from the boxes into my planner to kind of let me know or like showcase, hey, this is when I got my Sabbath box. Just as a little, um, I don't know, a little something for me. I, I wanna keep the stickers, I love, they put so much effort into like the art and stuff for their, uh, little pamphlets, their little booklets, and the stickers. I hate to waste it. Packaging is a pretty big thing for me. It's the little things that really, really get me. Um, so, if this is your first time in a Sabbath Box video, they custom like pick all the colors of like the packing worms and the tissue paper, and they custom make their stickers and they custom make this and everything kind of like correlates and is pretty and it's wonderful <laughs> I think even as far as like the bags and stuff go like it, it, it runs deep so just in case you are not aware you're just randomly stumbling upon this video hello this is for Maybon 2018 Maybon uh, is the autumn equinox so that occurs on September 22nd this year um, some will start celebrating Maybon at dusk on the 21st and the dates do change from year to year. So Maybon is the autumn or the fall equinox. There are two equinoxes with Maybon being the fall or the autumn equinox and uh, I believe it's Ostara that is the vernal or the spring equinox. The autumn equinox is the point in time when the days are now starting to be longer, or the nights are starting to be longer than the days. But on this day, so on September 22nd, this will be the day where the day and the night are equal. And it says in here that Maybon is the second of the three harvest Sabbaths, and this is the time of year where pagans will celebrate accomplishments and successes. Some refer to Maybon as the pagan Thanksgiving. So let's, let's get into this box and just so that you guys can also kind of see what it looks like when you first crack it open it is stuffed full of items so this theme what is this theme Someone please tell me usually it'll say it on the front it doesn't i believe it's moon magic i believe that's what the theme is called yes 
it is moon magic and it says it right on this box so i'm assuming this is a sabbat box exclusive item so what's actually in here because it says it's a set oh okay oh it's got little pieces of paper all right so i'm not gonna open it for you right this very second let's read about it so it looks like this retails for $8.95 and this is an exclusive item the only only place to get this specific item if you're interested in this candle set um, it looks like it also comes with parchment and a holder a candle holder uh, you can get it from sabbath box's website on their store so sabbath box is often on a wait list so i always recommend just kind of making your own box while you wait to be a part of the family the sabbath box family uh, always head over to the store because any extras that they have of these items will be posted on there for individual purchase and I have a coupon code I believe it is Jumi 10 uh, I will put it on the screen as well as down below if you use it you save 10% off your entire order the light of a flame against the cool darkness of a of the moon's light sets the mood for any magic you wish to work this is why we've included a chime candle set with a candle representing each major phase of the moon. So the new moon is represented uh, by the black candle. The waxing moon is represented by the white candle. The full moon, the full moon is represented by the silver candle. And the waning moon is represented by the gray candle. Each candle burns for about two hours, making them a perfect choice to add to your lunar workings. So it says that it comes with parchment. So it comes with little pieces of paper. I think they're just typical pieces of paper. It looks like they have stuff in it, so maybe it's recycled paper. That's pretty cool if it's recycled paper. And the instructions say to check the current moon face and choose a, the proper candle. Charge the candle with your intention, anoint it, dress it, and or inscribe the candle. You write your intention on the parchment paper that's provided and you light the candle. It says to burn the tip of the parchment with the candle, place the lit paper in a fire safe bowl. Uh, if you're unable to burn it, you can always bury the piece of paper and then you let the candle completely burn. So I like this and I will definitely incorporate it into my practicing um, because intention setting and kind of letting go uh, by burning whatever you write down as a form of release are two things that I think I've always done uh, even before I really knew what it was and before I was officially like practicing anything so those two things I, I love. I love writing down intentions and I love releasing by burning things I'm going to get rid of so cool <laughs> i will definitely use this it has a little chart on here as well i will zoom in for you guys so that you can see it um, just talking about what different correspondences each candle or the moon uh, itself kind of represents so the next thing in here is in a plastic bag and it is bubble wrap so it is a oh it looks like it's a release oil so this is called Moon Magic Ritual Oil Honey Rose Botanicals. And you can uh, visit their website at honeyrosebotanical.com. The ingredients are listed on here, so thank you. That is something I much enjoy. It's made with coconut oil and the essential oils of lemongrass, lavender, and vanilla. And it's hidden. Let me go ahead and get in here. And it looks like it has moonstones inside of it, as well as probably blessed under the a new moon i think it's a new moon magic lunar magic so some kind of moon cycle that might be an issue for some people who are very specific oh it's on a roller bowl that's interesting so i guess it's for topical when using this anointing oil during the waning moon okay so it's a waning moon oil uh, to let go of use this anointing oil during the waning moon so i guess it's a waning moon ritual oil to let go of what no longer serves you and it says to as a ritual write down your worries concerns things you want to get rid of and then you burn them this is a perfect item to go along with the spell candle kit and i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my skin a little bit to give it a good smell sniff it's definitely a good combination i don't really smell the vanilla too much but it's definitely lemongrass and it's definitely lavender so it's a very peaceful 
it's a very peaceful smell i am a fan of both lemongrass and lavender so i like this it's got a very pretty logo so it looks like this retails for $19.95, which is pretty dang expensive for 10 milliliters. The Waning Moon Ritual Oil is a perfect addition to any ritual, but is especially potent in spiritual cleansing and purification spells. The mixture of lemongrass, lavender, vanilla, and moonstones represent the waning moon, which is a great time for banishing, cleansing, and repelling. So it says to use this oil to anoint the tools of your ritual or spell uh, from your athame and wand to your candles and even yourself. So it is skin safe, which is good to know. Uh, Honey Rose Bot Botanicals is a small holistic medicine and botanical beauty company that specialize is, um, they specialize in handcrafted, high quality, eco-friendly products with sustainable packaging and zero additives. So all good things, and they are a small business, which is nice. I, I love supporting small business. Andrews, yay! <laughs> One of my favorite companies, and they I was actually introduced uh, to them through Sevabox, and I've gone on to, to the website to purchase other things, is um, lightofanju.com. I love this company. I really, really, really do. Uh, next to like ritual craft, that is like my go-to, I think, to purchase stuff. That and um, House Switch, which we found in Salem. Uh, very, very cool. I will list all this stuff down below. Uh, these are three websites that I totally recommend to check out, um, but Light of Andrew, right? That is is one of the, uh, the packaging, uh, the artwork, the everything that goes into like the candles that they make the candles that they make are so gorgeous they are so beautiful it looks like this is a moon magical herb blend for rituals and spells meditations and intentions um, and it has the ingredients listed on here uh, it's jasmine blue lotus mugwort willow bark anise seed marsh mallow and rainbow moonstone Okay, so it looks like this retails for $12, and I don't know if I got through it. The end is Rainbow Moonstone. I'm sorry. Uh, Evan called me in the middle of doing this, so I had to take his call. Uh, and it says on the actual... I'm all over the place now. So you get two ounces in here. I'm afraid to, like, open it. I don't want to ruin it. I, I love the packaging so much. It's very um, eco-friendly feeling. I really love the their packaging of their items so like it's it's one thing like i know some people for packaging is just whatever but for me it's like ooh, like an extra little uh, i don't want to say it's like the garnish on food but it's like it's like the cheese on cheese fries you know what i mean like the fries are great by themselves but if you top it with a little bit of cheese, if that makes any sense to anybody out there watching me. Uh, it just, it like hits my taste buds, my brain's taste buds really well. I, <laughs> I love good packaging, I don't know what to tell you. So it, oh my battery's dying. It looks like this, I know you guys can't really see it, but I will of course zoom in for you guys so that you can kind of see a little better. Lots of herbs in here, lots of herbs. So it says that they can be the herbs can be used in a variety of different ways to connect with the moon and your emotional being. Um, you can cast it into a fire, dress a candle, sprinkle it into a bath. You can either you can make this into a tea. You can dress your altar, burn it as incense, use it in a spell, or carry it with you. And I think, all right, let me let me talk about this item. So it's twelve dollars, um, and it, this is custom made for the Sabbath box. So. You won't be able to specifically find this item, this specific blend of herbs on their website if you go there. You can find it on the Sabbath Box store, but that's kind of how Light of Andrew works. A lot of the items that you find in these boxes from this company are made to order, so they're made specifically for the boxes. It retails for $12. You can find it on the Sabbath Box store. So I guess as a warning to remove the moonstone prior to using the herbs. Uh, Maybon is the is the time of the second harvest. What a better way to celebrate it than with an herbal blend harvested by the late of Anju. And I couldn't agree more. This lunar magical herb blend contains various seasonal herbs with direct associations with the moon herself, such as blue lotus and white willow bark. 
and even a rainbow moonstone for extra lunar energy. Herbal blends can be used in a variety of different ways, um, and I went over them a little bit, and it says to use your creativity during the upcoming harvest moon to work a little herbal ma magic with this blend. Um, I'm curious to see what this tastes like as a tea. Uh, I, I will look into and make sure nothing is poisonous. I don't think any of these things are poisonous. Um, I won't be using it as a bath, but I will probably burn a lot of these during any workings I do for the moon. I'm coming up with ideas. I want to try to film my stuff um, with this stuff. I want to use the stuff for you so you guys can see how some of the how you use some of it or kind of putting everything together. I want to show you guys that. So I'm creating ideas of what I want to do. This next item looks like this. It is some bath salts or bath salt, uh, soak and it's from Earthen Alchemy. It is full moon ritual bath soak and it says to use this. They're good for helping you set your intentions, cleanse and gain clarity or to sweeten and accompany your spells. So the ingredients are dead sea salt, epsom salt, rose flower petals, necroli, citrus, which is citrus aureoptium, rose, uh, jasmine. Oh, it's neroli. I'm duh. <laughs> okay, so rose flower petals, neroli, rose, jasmine. Uh, mm, I'm gonna mispronounce marjoram, sweet orange, blue tansy. And it looks like uh, some fillers or additives, polysorbate 20, and it's from Canada. This kind of sounds like a lush bath bomb, I'm not gonna lie. It sounds like it's gonna smell delightful. Okay, so this is the item that comes with the muslin bag, muslin bag. And this whole thing retails for $10. It's by Earthen Alchemy, which you can find at earthenalchemy.ca. And it says that they chose it because the moon is often linked with water, which is very true. <laughs> um, an emotional and psychic element. That's why this full moon ritual bath soak by Earth and Alchemy is perfect for use, uh, perfect for this box. Use it this upcoming Maybon or during the harvest moon or both to invoke gratitude, balance, and the harvest. Bath soaks help to create balance by removing, cleansing, and drawing in the gratitude within a daily task you already perform. So it says that subscribers will enjoy this reasonably sourced harvest of salts, oils, and various herbs that together create the perfect combination for a soothing yet magical bath. Let the marjoram cleanse you, the neroli soothe you, and the jasmine in incite your psychic abilities. Use just half of the package per bath and set aside some quiet time just for you and the moon herself. Oh, so they include this bag just in case you do not have a bathtub. I do have a bathtub, but I do not like using our bathtub. It's very old and kind of gross, and we've cleaned it a million times, and there's just stains and TMI, but I don't like taking baths, unfortunately. I've not taken a bath in a really long time, and it's very upsetting, and I hate it, and ugh, whole, whole other story. But, um... They included this in case you do not have a bath so that you can enjoy the bath soak in the showers. So I assume you fill this up, you throw it at the bottom of the tub and you let the hot water hit it so that you still kind of get to experience the aromas of the soak. The next item in here is anybody's guess. <laughs> it is a rainbow moonstone. Really cool and it came in this really awesome bag a very fitting colored bag so this is a rainbow moonstone there's not many rainbowy effects to it I don't know if that's a uh, misnomer is that what it's called so this retails for $3.95 you can get this on the Sabbath box store and it says rainbow moonstone is a type of feldspar found in asia and comes in a beautiful grayish color with flashes of purples blues yellows and may contain flecks of black tourmaline uh, it's a stone of strong psychic protection and aids in working with lunar energies the goddess and helps to open your third eye and chakra crown chakras so i oh okay there's the flex i see some of the rainbow flex very very pretty 
So Moonstone itself gets its name due to its appearance. It has a very moon-like appearance. This is a very pretty stone. There are tiny, you know, tiny flecks, tiny spots, but it is very pretty when it hits the light just right. Ooh, oh, this is gorgeous. I love this, I'm hanging this up somewhere. So this retails for $3.95. It is a moon magic and lunar, lunar correspondence guide. So this is another Seba Box exclusive. Uh, the moon face insert is a custom design guide that provides information and correspondences for the moon, both in her various phases and as she arrives at her fullest phase each month. The insert includes colors, herbs, gemstones, key terms to begin building spells and rituals. It's a uh, this tool is a must-have for those looking to work with the moon phases without having to scour for their data. So it's a perfect size to fit beautifully into a book of shadows or grimoire and makes a beautiful display place in any altar or uh, ritual area for quick reference. And what's great about this is that it is specifically, this is awesome, so you could use this year after year. It's not specific to just 2018. Uh, I really like this. It's really pretty. They did a really phenomenal job on this. This is gorgeous. I love this. I really, really like this. Ooh. I think I was actually looking at getting this book. One of my favorite things about Seven Box is they often feature books in their boxes. And this one is all moon spells. How to use the phases of the moon to get what you want. I think I was actually looking at this book. <laughs> I was looking to purchase this book at some point. So this is by Diane Alquist, um, and you can get it from adamsmedia.com, or you can also get it on the Sabbath Box store, and if you use my coupon code, you get some money off, yay! One way to interact with the moon's energy is by reading about it. And we here at Sabbath Box wanted to include an in-depth informational guide to teach and inspire your lunar workings. So the author comes from a line of familiar intu intuitives. She uses her gifts through counseling, speaking, and of course, writing books. In her book of moon spells, she walks you through the uh, through utilizing the moon's energy in every phase with ease to understand charts, images, guides. It's great for visual learner and reader alike. This book takes simple, practical approach to many different manifestations of the moon. All right, so that was everything in the 2018 Maybon Saba box. So please let me know down below what you thought. I am very, very excited for this box. I really like it. Um, and yeah, let me know if you are getting this box, what, how you plan to utilize some of the items, or if you're not getting the box, um, are there any items that interest you? And I also want to know how you guys are going to celebrate. So let me know down below. Don't forget to uh, follow me on my Instagram or Twitter. I'm very active over there and I plan to showcase these items a lot over there. So please follow me over there for more information, more fun stuff with these items. All right, guys, I'm going to go. So I hope to see you all in my next video. I don't know when or what that will be, but I hope to see all of you there. Bye, guys.